Hello, still the topic, flow measurement. This time we are going to talk about magnetic, so-called magnetic inductive flow measurement. Magnetic inductive method flow measurement. Again, I'm going to draw the tube. This tube is filled with li our liquid we want to measure. Yeah? Usually, usually if we have water for instance or something like this, usually this means uh, it's not only the pure liquid, but there are also ions inside. Yeah? So charged particles. Yeah? Usually there are some there are some positive charged ions inside the liquid. Yeah? And an equal amount of negative charged ions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, they are equal. <laughs> Why they should be equal? Because usually a liquid is not charged at all. Okay, now this liquid is traveling and the ions are traveling with the liquid. Of course. Eh? Usually we would say this is current, charged particles, traveling, this is called current, but since they are positive and negative ions and they are traveling at the same speed, there is a positive current in this direction, negative current in this direction, total current zero. Huh? However, there are part charged particles inside. Okay. Now, now we come to the to the big magic. Yeah? Now I apply a magnetic field yeah, in this direction from top to bottom. Yeah? This way. Down. Magnetic field. Yeah? The magnetic field. Yeah? There is the Lorentz force. I'm sure you heard of it in electrotechnic. Yeah? A magnetic field on a moved charged particle will produce a force. Yeah? We all know this from motors and so on. Yeah? And the same things happen here also. So now if a positive particle is running that way, yeah? if a positive particle is running that way and we do have a uh, uh, magnetic force, yeah, then it will turn like this. Yeah. This means on positive particles the force is in this direction. Yeah. Plus the positive particles will receive a force in this direction. Yeah. And the negative particles yeah, will have a force in this direction. Okay? If the magnetic field is here. Yeah? There is a separate video about this this uh, Lorentz force. Yeah? If a positive, this is the velocity, this is the this is the uh, if this is the velocity and this is the magnetic field, I turn the velocity to the magnetic field and according to the right hand rule this means this means it would shift in this direction okay this is why this is the direction so the positive ones do get do get a force in this direction so this means the positive ones they will travel at this wall side yeah? They will sum up at this this side of the wall. And the negative ones, they will sum up at this side of the wall. Okay. This force, this force applied to the charged particles. 
this is from one side rely reliant on the strength of the magnetic field, let's say this is constant, yeah? and on the other hand on the velocity of the, of the particles. So the more the velocity is, the more force they will feel. Yeah? This means if the flow is high, high velocity, a lot of ions will get pressed against the wall. Yeah? If the velocity is low, not that much ions will get pressed around the wall, yeah? against the wall. Yeah? Because the force is simply not big enough to accelerate it from here to here. This means if I now measure here and here yeah, the voltage, I measure here voltage, which is a function of the flow rate. Okay? That's the principle of this sensor. That's the principle of this sensor. Easy, right? Principle is easy. Magnetic inductive flow measurement. There is one, there's one failure or there's one thing which is causing trouble. That's the earth magnetic field. The earth magnetic field, you know, it's not constant. It's, it's changing over time. So if I only have this outer magnetic field, yeah. If you only have this outer magnetic field and plus the earth field and the earth field is changing, then this this you will also change. Yeah. Just if even if if it's constant, the flow is constant and the artificial magnetic field is constant, the natural magnetic field will change this voltage here. This is why we are not using a constant magnetic field, we use the field in this direction, then in this direction, in this direction, and then in this direction. So this means it will, this is not a constant voltage then, this, 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 this voltage will turn polarity. Yeah? And if I'm only looking, let's make, let's say our voltage, if we only have one voltage, yeah, then this voltage might, because because everything is constant, yeah? the artificial field is constant, also the flow is constant, this voltage might drift yeah? because the magnetic, the magnetic uh, field is, the natural magnetic field is changing, yeah? this voltage will change. So I would have, I will, would measure a change in flow which is not happening actually. And if I do it now, alternating yeah. that I measure a little time the plus voltage and then I measure the negative then I measure again the plus then I measure the negative then I measure again the plus then I measure the negative and I'm not looking at the absolute values of this voltage but only on the jump here yeah then I know this jump is always constant, regardless of the of the outer magnetic field, because in this time the outer magnetic field is not changing too much. I'm only changing the artificial field and look at the change of the voltage, and then I know exactly what is the flow. Okay, then this size, this jump size, is measure for the flow uh, and not the absolute absolute voltage here. Magnetic inductive flow measurement. Advantage. Advantage. No moving parts. No pressure drop. No pressure drop. It's just a tube. Yeah? No pressure drop. Yeah? It can be used for big, big, big tubes. Yeah? The linearity is, is very fine. And there are also, there can also can be uh, particles inside. Yeah? There also can be particles inside. Since this is just a tube, they will simply pass. Yeah? So if this is mud or, or uh, bre, this is still working yeah? because there is nothing in the path of this liquid. Yeah? Negative or 
negative disadvantage, let's call it, disadvantage. If there is mud or something inside, then it might cover those electrodes. Yeah? Then I have an issue. Yeah? Those electrodes need to have good conductivity with the liquid. Yeah? So if there is dirt, something like this, covering the electrode, this means it might need some maintenance. Yeah? And of course, there needs to be ions inside. Yeah? There needs to be ions inside, and this needs to be calibrated for the specific liquid. Accuracy, we are around 0 0.2 to 1% of mass measuring end value, what is quite good. Magnetic inductive method. This is of course not the last method of flow measurement, since flows are measured so often there are a lot of methods. Yeah? Next time we are going to talk about ultrasonic measurement. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.